Davidson Cardinals have won the tip. And it looks like we have here Mitchell Rubio. By the way, I'm Aaron Snyder alongside Weston Cowan. We'll be bringing you tonight's game and commentating all of uh, action tonight. So sit tight and enjoy the game. Two rivalry teams here tonight, Weston. Um, uh, what do you expect coming out in tonight's, uh, tonight's game? I'm expecting a hard played game by Powers, but also hopefully from Davidson, they've been having a rough start of the season so far. I, I agree, I agree. Um, uh, Powers is just a dominant force this year. I mean, with a record of 5-0, and oh, they're pretty much said to be unstoppable. I'm not quite sure. I haven't witnessed myself, but I know there's some players to watch for this year, uh, uh, one being uh, Patrick Lucas Perry. Also, um, let's see, we got Adams, Vince Adams. Vince Adams and Patrick Lucas Perry are both powerhouses for Powers, uh, ironically stating, but... <laughs> Anyways, it should be a good game tonight, and I'm uh, pretty excited to be announcing it next to Weston here, and hey, let's see what we have here tonight. Cardinals already have two points on the board. Powers are uh, goose egg here. And already uh, from what I've seen from uh, Lucas Perry, he's very fast, very fast, very fast. Forgot to mention our starters of tonight's game. For Davidson, we have Antoine Silver. Silver, I'm sorry. Mitchell Rubio, Lance Arnold, Brandon Hendershot, and J.C. Carazales. Antoine kicks it up to J.C., Mitchell Rubio. Nice jumper there, and a nice, nice. rebound there by Lance. I think that's what they gotta do tonight. I mean, they gotta really fast break. They gotta do a lot of fast breaks tonight, for sure, because if not, Powers defense is just gonna shut them down all night. But what you got to remember is Davidson's a very young team. They are very, very, very got, young team. We got two seniors on the court on our starting lineup. Yeah, but all together on the team, we have a total of six seniors. Quite a few freshmen, or actually not two freshmen. We have uh, one freshman, I, I believe. And uh, a, lot, a lot of juniors, a lot of juniors. Looks like there we have an and one. That is Hawkins. He'll he'll uh, shoot. Eh, it was not an and one. He'll shoot. He'll be shooting two here. That was a foul on Rubio. Already coming into the game, they have two fouls. Not a very not not a very uh, smart decision in tonight. You, you really want to eliminate as many fouls as you can because you do not want Powers going to that line. I, I, you do not want them going up there because they will probably capitalize on all their free throws. And from what I've seen, we've had. Uh, a lot of fouls this season so far. Oh yeah, it, the Davidson team, they, they play smart, but they sometimes they get a little too aggressive and yeah. when, they're when they're coming from behind, they, uh, they think that the only tactic is to just hack and foul. So that's something they gotta overcome this year and uh, learn as an older team. Mitchell Rubio, nice drive there, but couldn't Ooh. come up. Lucas Perry drives it down court, nice pass there. Oh. And a nice little layup there by Hawkins. Nice pass from Lucas Perry. And a steal by Lucas Perry. Tries to do a fancy little layup there, but it didn't follow through that one. Good defense. Ooh. Again, like I said, they got to really, really execute on the fast breaks here. They got to uh, they gotta create something through the neutral zone so that they can catch the Powers defense off guard and uh, hopefully create something in the offensive zone. And try to play smart and not give up anything they don't have to. Exactly. Lucas Perry comes out with a Ooh. three. Butters off the rim there. And we have Hendershot coming down who passes it. Ah, and a turnover there. See what JC can do here. Nice layup there by Hawkins. Coach Alderson, not too happy here with this team's play. I mean, coming off with a four nothing lead and giving it back Given Powers the uh, uh, lead here with 7-4, it's not, not, I wouldn't be happy if I were Coach Alderson either. They have to really, really, really eliminate the, uh, the turnovers in this game. They Tur really, yeah, they need to keep their defense up as well. Turnovers, a turnovers is a key factor in tonight's game for Powers. They believe that they're gonna come out here and they're just gonna pick off every pass. If Davidson can somehow get around that and they can pass the ball right in the hands, yeah. then I believe that the threes, the twos, and the shots down low in the paint will come all night very easily for Davidson. And but Powers could very easily do that. They're that type of team. 
They are, but I really, if Davidson wants to create something throughout the night, then they really, really need to uh, execute without doing any turnovers. Hender shot looking for somewhere to go. Spin move there. Passes to Lance. Lance. Oh, and he gets a travel. Again, just, just things they gotta, you know, they can't do those things tonight if they really, really want to come out strong tonight. Yeah, fundamental mistake. They don't need those again. It's not like the Davidson team, you know. But yeah, they're young and really, really inexperienced, but they gotta overcome little things. They can't. They can't. They gotta take away the small things. They can't be doing little pity mistakes like that. Powers moves the ball very well, and they're really good at driving to the hole. Almost a turnover there by Lucas Perry. Lucas nice Perry for pass. the three. One thing I like doing is watching Antoine Silver and Brandon Hendershot down low. When the, when, whenever the other team is shooting, and no matter what team they're playing, they're always the both two huge bodies underneath the, underneath the basket just getting any rebound that comes to them. Two powerhouses for Davis. They're both big there. dudes. We got DJ Adams here with the ball. Very skilled player also. Nice look by Toy to Hendershot. That Ooh. is a nice shot by Hendershot. That stopped Powers 7 and nothing run. And we got Cardinals with 6, Powers with 7. Weston, so far, how do you think the uh, game's going to turn out here? I mean, we got we got a 6-7 lead here, and uh, already we're about five minutes into the game. So how, how, what do you think is going to generate throughout the night, and what do you think they're going to do? Well, I mean, so far, Davidson's came out, got that four-point lead, and then uh, Powers here scored seven, and they were on a 7 nothing run. So, you know, it could go either way. It could be a real close game, or someone could just run away with it. Uh, uh, great, great analogy there. I mean, it's... It's really unpredictable. I mean, if Cardinals come and they play strong tonight and they play Cardinal Cardinal uh, basketball, then anything's capable tonight. I talked to uh, Coach Lang over there on the uh, Cardinal side, and I said, so, I mean, what are you guys doing tonight? What are you guys going to – how are you going to get through Powers' defense, and what have you guys been doing to prepare for this game? And he said, basically, we're, we're doing exactly what we have all year. If we really want to win this game, then we have to play Cardinal basketball. Yeah, I couldn't agree with him more. He said it so well. Cardinals got a one-point lead here with a score of eight to seven. But so far, it looks like it's going to be a very close game. I agree. Hopefully, Davison can uh, maintain some stamina throughout the night too, because that that also could be a very big key factor in tonight's game. If Davison gets tired then that's when their game gets thrown off and they just make silly mistakes and they get they just get worn down and really they don't play strong defense when they're tired both teams with a lot of fast breaks so far too that could be a factor lucas perry with a nice jump shot two-pointer there tell you what lucas perry is not afraid to shoot the ball and i have a feeling we're going to see a lot of him with the ball tonight i mean Ooh. He is one of the good players on Powers team, and he will shoot it from any place on the court. Nice little layup there we had by uh, JC on Davison. It's going to be a foul. That's a foul by DJ Adams. Ten nine, Cardinals lead right here with one point. Bracket shoots at the line. Got two. And his first one is good. Really tied up the game there. One thing I noticed about Powers, they got some big bodies on their team. Yeah, they do. They do. They mean Compared to Davidson, they do. I mean, Davidson's got some height, too. Don't get yeah. me wrong. They got Adams down there. He's got some height. They got Jacobs. Hendershot, he, he's not the biggest on the team, but I'll tell you what, he is one of the toughest ones on the team. <laughs> Nice fast break by Travis Toy. Pass from DJ Adams, and he got an and one on that one. Travis Toy is one of the hardest workers, I believe, that has yeah. ever come through Davidson. No matter what, he is always, always I mean, if you, watch, if you watch him closely on defense, he's 100% into it. He is. 
He took, fast too. He dives for balls and everything. But uh, we got a replay here coming up. That was a pass from DJ Adams if we didn't get it before that. But nice fast break there by Davidson and, and Toy just laid up so gracefully and got the two points. So it also drawed the and one. Hey, that's good rebounding. Very good rebounding. Tie game here with a score of 13-13. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in the first quarter action. Hender shot with a jump shot. Right a little bit wide off the rim. DJ looks for somewhere to go. And it's a turnover as Patrick Lucas Perry drives down hard. And oh. he gets the end one. Nice play. Very nice play. There's nothing really you can do on those fast breaks. I mean, the only alternative to not letting any baskets in is you got to follow them. I mean, yeah. You might not want to follow them too hard. You might want to go for the ball. I mean, that's obviously what the plan is, but sometimes you just have to, you know. You, you don't want them getting those two points. Yeah, and like you said earlier, Davidson does seem to get a lot of those types of fouls. They do, and they really want to stay away from the and ones because, and those are a result from there's so many turnovers this season. They're yeah. running because they steal the ball and yeah. going for an easy yeah. layup. And Powers will very definitely capitalize on any foul given. I mean, if you follow them, they're most likely going to go up, and they probably will get an and one. So they've already they've already been the line two, three times. Yeah. They're very good at uh, executing that shot, follow through with the uh, fouls. Antoine backs down, and a nice little back down there by. Antoine Silver for two points. Definitely got some height on that one. Yeah. These Powers boys, they uh, they they got some ups to them, you know. <laughs> they got some pep in their step. <laughs> Definitely fast on the breakouts too. You know, I mean. It's just, uh, it's all about Davis. I mean, if this is a very big uh, competitive game. I mean, these two teams have been rivalries in every single sport throughout Davis and Power's history. And uh, True. They really just got to, no matter what, I mean, it's going to be an intense game. So it doesn't matter if one team is better than the other. When two teams come up against each other and they're rivalries, it's just a different type game. Both teams come ready to play always. And, it's just fun to announce, fun to watch, you know. Nice try there by JC for the turnover. Hawkins for the two. Comes up a little wide. Got a jump ball here yep. as Antoine and uh, number three for Powers. That is Cody, oh, I'm sorry. Daniel Miesner. It's going to stay Powers' ball. Had a little scuffle down there. Powers looking for somewhere to go as I pass it around the rim. They really like to give it to Lucas Perry. Uh, he's definitely one to uh, watch tonight, like I said earlier. I mean, he shoots, he gets his own rebound twice. Nice defense there by Davison, out. though. They eliminated him, driving to the hole there as Antoine and uh, Rubio stood underneath the glass area and uh, definitely stopped him. Then a strip by Rubio. Three-point shot by Lance Arnold. And Ooh. good, nice shot there to tie up the game. Great shot. You know, we've been seeing a lot of him this year. We, he has. He's definitely come out of a shell this year, and he's really, really proved that he's ready to play Davidson basketball. JC knocks it out of bounds. I mean, he can really do it all. You give him the ball in the three-point line, he most likely will make a three-point shot. And, I mean, you take him down low, and... I mean, he's, he's banking it off the glass all night. All right, let's see what Powers can do before the clock ticks down. He's got about 25 seconds left on the clock. They're going to probably try and wear down the clock here and uh, maybe get that last second shot in so that they uh, can have a lead going to the exactly. second. Get some momentum. There he goes. Oh, off the glass. Called it, too. Well, nice shot there by Patrick Lucas Perry. Played it off perfectly. Ooh. Oh, a little bit too. Oh, oh nice save by Antoine. Oh. And here they go on the fast break, and it's just a little too much. I really want to focus on that play that they just had right there. They came down on the fast break, and uh, they got the shot, and 
a little too hard on the pass there for um, uh, uh, Hayden right, Davidson, I'm Anna Hollins, and the first quarter is a really close game here, and Davidson's playing Powers, which is number one ranked in Class B. So it's going to be a really close game, and so far, if they keep on, if they don't let Powers score a long run on them, then their confidence will grow, and hopefully the game will turn out well. Now back to your announcers. Thanks, Hannah. Over here, we got Coach Alderson talking to the boys, and uh, uh, what do you think they're saying here? Oh, we got a replay. Hold on. It was a nice shot there. Bring it back earlier when Lance had that three shot, that three pointer. Excuse me. It was a very nice shot by Lance. Like we were saying earlier, he does it all. I mean, he drives to the hole. He shoots the threes. He makes good passes, and he's only a junior. So I mean, we got one more year left in him too. So I'm excited to see or hear about, because I'm going to be gone next year. I'm excited to hear what, what he brings to the table next year. And he can get up there, too. I mean, he's a, he's a tall kid. He's a very tall kid. Good yeah. at getting rebounds. Davidson has definitely gained some height this year. I mean, in the past years, they haven't had too many tall players. But this year, I mean, they got Mitchell Rubio, Antoine's back. I and mean, Hendershot, he's been here for a few years. Lance has been here for a few years. But, I mean, it seems like everybody's just growing. Yeah. And Rubio's only a sophomore, so. I'll tell you what, get a little bit more meat on that kid, and man, you got you got yourself one big kid. <laughs> he's he's very he's got great hands though. For me, usually you don't see too many tall people that can uh, handle the ball very well. But I'll tell you what, I watch this kid dribble sometimes, man. He's got some he's got some shaking bags. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Going into the second period, we got Powers up 20 and Cardinals 18. Luke Perry slowly walks it in as he looks for a play here. Kicks it out to Hawkins, fakes. Passes it back to Lucas Perry for the three. And it's no good. If Lucas would have made that there, then uh, that would have been a and and one, but I mean, he would have had that three-point shot, so that would have been would a four-point game. Uh, would have four had a four-point opportunity. Exactly. That would not have been good. It would have not for put us. A, put him up a few. And the last thing Davidson wants tonight is to get too far behind Powers, because as soon as they start trailing by more than probably ten points, that's when the boys they start giving up, and they I, I don't want to say give up, but they start losing the, that momentum yeah. and they start losing that that drive to want to actually come back and win these games. But if you keep it within a few points, th then they're going to come out with some fire, and they're going to want as hard as they can to come back, and they're going to want to get that lead. They also need to try to keep these uh, powers off the line. Uh, exactly. We've said it before, and we'll say it again. They cannot, I repeat, they cannot afford to have any of these powers players on the line all night because I'll tell you what, all these kids can shoot, and it's pretty much a guaranteed two points for each team. Nice little layup there by Hendershot. I mean, Powers has already been in line at least four times. Oh, more, more, than more than that. So more than that. About five, probably. Oh, and a nice move there. Wow. Nice move by Bracket. Hendershot tries to go up. Not too happy with that call, though. And then Lance gets a foul. Just silly mistakes, I repeat. I mean, we said it again. I mean, they cannot, they, they cannot afford little mistakes like that. It's going to cost them in the long run. Powers with a score of 24, and Cardinals 20. And again, we have Powers offense at the line. His first shot was good. Let's see what he can do on the second shot. Ooh. Bounced off the back of the rim, and Antoine came up strong with that rebound. JC looking for somewhere to go. I love watching Antoine play. He, he's a very big kid, and he's got some heart. He's got some passion in his game, and you, you can just tell that he loves the game of basketball. And yeah. He's very competitive. He doesn't show a lot of emotion, but, I mean, he, he gets hit. 
or he gets fouled, you don't see him complaining, you don't see him doing anything. Nope. He gets right back up in that play and he goes. He as just hard plays as he can. the game. He's a great kid. And he recently just came back from an injury. Last game he uh, hurt his knee or his ankle, or two games ago, I, I'm sorry. Uh, knee or his ankle, one or two, but he, he's ready to play today. He, I mean, you're not gonna wanna keep him out for a powers game, I'll tell you that much. Still a three point game. Speaking of silver, he is up at the line, shooting two. Waiting for that Powers uh, player here to shoot, tie his shoe. <laughs> and let's see what Antoine can make of these two shots. First one, no go. Could be an upset. Very well could be. And Antoine goes up for his second free throw shot of the night. Oh, and Ooh. it's a good, or I'm sorry, it's off the back of the rim. There's no foul called. Surprisingly, there's no foul called until after the play. I thought for sure, yeah. as soon as he got knocked down. Looks like contact to me. Exactly, I thought uh, the, these refs would easily call Davidson foul. Looks like the powers coach also thought so. Davidson will be throwing the ball in. Toy slapping out the ball, calling for a play as it passes out to Adams. Got some new players in here. We got Jacob Jacobs, Toy, and DJ. We've been in a DJ's been in a few times, and so is Toy. Uh, first time for Jacobs tonight. Let's see what he can make of this uh, playing time tonight, you know. Powers coach seems to be getting extremely frustrated with the calls. One thing I want to stress here is uh, number 20 for Davidson, JC. He's a sophomore this year, and I'll tell you what, that kid, man, he he is one little work hog. I mean, he he's a very good shooter, very good passer. He he can pretty much do it all, and he's got two more years left in him. I'm excited to hear about what he's going to be doing in the future. Nice three there by wow. DJ. Tie game now. I've been talking to DJ a few times for the... Uh, the games today and I talked to him a little bit yesterday I asked him what he was gonna do today and he kind of just looked at me and laughed just kind of a little smirk on his face he goes I'm a jam <laughs> and I, I take it by jam and he means he's gonna try and dunk the ball I mean he's got the height and I've seen him dunk before I haven't seen him yet in the game but get him that uh fast break breakaway and I'll tell you what I, I think he might jam <laughs> I hope so That'd be something to see. Maybe we can bring back the old uh, dunk contest, dunk <laughs> meter on DTV. Back in the day, we used to have a uh, top top five dunks of the week or something like that. I, I recall, and uh, they had some height back in the day. And <laughs> they they could dunk, they could they could jam, could slam, you know. They could do it all back then. I haven't seen too many dunks in the uh, few years that I've been here, though. Both no, free throws really good by Powers there. Let's see if DJ can shoot up another. JC back back to Adams. He goes for the two. And Ooh. it's good. I'll tell you what, keep feeding him the ball. He's got a hot hand, boys <laughs> and girls. Look at that defense, too. Sometimes, I mean, you don't really see DJ starting too much. I think he's trying to come out here and say, you know what, Coach Alderson? I'm ready to play, I want to start, so. Put me in, coach. Put me in, exactly, that's what, exactly yeah. what he's saying. Let's see if he can create some more uh, offensive momentum here. Travel. Yeah, we got a, a double dribble lesson. Oh, double Come dribble. on now. <laughs> <laughs> coach Alderson called a full time out here. So, Weston, question I'm going to ask you. What What do you think? Uh, oh, sorry, hold on one second. We've got a replay here. That's DJ Adams' shot. 
nice three point there, and like you said, he's hopefully have many more to come today. So what do you think Coach Alderson's saying in there? He's got to be saying keep up the momentum, keep doing what you're doing, because right now they just tied the game up, and they're playing an extremely good team. Yeah, they are. I'll tell you what. Coach Alderson's down there uh, yelling at him a little. I think it looks like, not yelling actually. Tight game, he probably don't want to yell at him. Hendershot got some emotion there on his face. Yeah, He's, he, he wants this game badly. And I, I believe every player on the Davidson team wants this game. You don't often see too many, too many Davidson players screaming, let's go, let's go, I want this game, stuff like that. But when it's a rivalry game, you can just tell the emotion coming off their faces that they, they are here to play and they want it. DJ doing a little shaking, shaking stuff there. Passes the toy. See if Jacobs can create something here. He goes up for the two. Oh, oh. almost good, but bounced off ball. the rim there. Double. Lucas Perry looking for somewhere to go. Down low to the uh, big guy, number 45 for Powers. Lucas Perry for the three, and it's Ooh. good. Oh, and he gets a steal. Out of bounds off a header shot to foot. He's not too happy with that call. I think he thought that Lucas Perry had to hit that one out. Lucas is a very hard worker. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas Perry. He, he, uh, he, he shoots that three point. He, he drains the three point, I repeat. I mean, and then he plays strong defense because he wants that ball. And he goes for another three, but it's no good. And that's the second strip he's had as Davidson inbounded the ball. Nice fast break there as he passes Ooh. Jacobs. He goes, oh. You see that pass right over there? There's a nice pass by no Toy there. Would have been nice if Jacobs could have pulled through and maybe got an and one on that one. But that's all right. He'll go up to the line and shoot two. See what he can do here. Man, Davidson has really, really got to make these uh, free throws. They've, they've been at the line a few times tonight. If they would have capitalized on these free throws, it would have been a very, very close game. I mean, Antoine, he missed two. Uh, Jacobs, he just missed this one. Uh, uh, there's been more, and if they can capitalize on these free throws, then the game's a lot closer. Score 28-30, Powers lead here. Tossing it around the horn, see if they can create something here. Lucas Perry, nice little fake for the two. Oh, oh and, and it bounces out. out the rim. JC's coming up, looks for Toy. Nice defensive play there by Lucas Perry as he passes it up to Hawkins. Oh, oh and he dunks it in there. That's something you don't see. I have a feeling that if Hawkins gets some more fast breaks, he's going to slam and jam all night long. I'm thinking uh, Adams might be a little jealous there. <laughs> he looked like it. It wasn't quite a, uh, uh, a slam dunk, but it was close to it. If uh, there wouldn't have been a foul on that one, then he would have gone to the hole all day and had a nice uh, <laughs> slam there. I just saw that. Now I'm excited to see what he's going to bring to the table tonight. I mean, I kind of want to watch Hawkins now and see what he's going <laughs> to do tonight. That kind of got me excited for tonight's game. I mean... <laughs> Halfway through, and we got a dunk. We got a dunk this this close in. So, mm. and he got the end one and followed through with that last shot. Down low to Antoine, and that looks like Antoine will be shooting too. Let's hopefully see if. Uh, Cardinals can capitalize on these free throws now. Antoine goes for his first shot. And it's good. Ooh. Nice rebound there and nice uh, fight by uh, Hendershot. Definitely wanna, wouldn't, wouldn't want to get in a scruff with him and uh, fighting for the basketball. He's, <laughs> a, he's a pretty crazy kid. 
<laughs> Only when it comes to basketball. Though. Outside outside of basketball, he's a very nice kid. But you get those ball, you get the ball in his hands, and uh, I'll tell you what, he's taking the town. He does. I I don't think Lucas Perry has come out of the game tonight. I don't think he has. Nice defensive play. Oh, oh and they called the foul on Cardinals. Didn't didn't seem to be uh, too pleasing to the crowd or the uh, Cardinals offense. Nice look there by Hawkins as he goes up. And two points to Powers. Powers taking more of a demanding lead. They're starting to pull points. away a little bit. Let's just hope that the Cardinals can maintain uh, a little bit of momentum and uh, get some points here. Ooh, good rebound. See, I don't like to consider that an uh, air ball. I like to consider that a nice pass to Antoine. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very nice job by Antoine, though, to recover that rebound there. Hawkins thought about that deep three. Hawkins and Lucas Perry, I mean, they're, they're quite the dynamic duo tonight. Yeah. They're, they're definitely getting most of uh, the points. I mean, there's just another point by Lucas Perry, so. He's got 16 points on tonight's game, and Hawkins has got 11. Nice look Whoa. down low and a nice cut in there by Jacobs. Very good, pass. very good look by Wangler there wow. to, uh, to get that pass just down there to Jacobs for two points. He was deep in three points. He got a five-point cap between the lead here, 37-32. Hopefully, uh, Davison can recover some. Oh. A little bit too hard of a pass. Nice Puts shot. It up. Nice rebound by Hendershot. Go back up. Goes back up with it. Get the foul. That long pass there by uh, Mitchell Rubio to uh, Wangler kind of reminded me of a couple games ago when they played Swartz Creek, and Wangler was going as hard as he could down court, and it was going out of bounds, and he just full out Superman dive for it, <laughs> and he threw the ball back in. They got two points off that too, wow. and a foul, and one. Nice. Very nice execution by him a couple nights ago when they played Swartz Creek. You might have saw it in the open video. It was quite the play. So far throughout this game, I mean, the momentum has just been swinging back and forth. It, it really has, Weston. I mean, I, I came into this game, I thought Powers was just going to come out just I mean, slam dunking, shooting threes, driving to the hole, getting the rebounds, stealing the ball. But really, Davidson has come out very surprisingly. They've come out very strong in tonight's game. And you can tell that they're ready to play, and they're, they're, they're here to make a statement tonight. Tyler McSuga, I have just uh, seen in the game. He's in the game right now. He's been off the off the roster the whole entire year due to a hip injury. He Ooh. hasn't been in all year. This is his first game, and I was at the practice last night watching a little bit of play, a couple of plays, and he was going very hard, you know, uh, definitely working his butt off. And Coach Alderson looked at me and Stacy, and he just said, you know what, I think this kid's finally ready to play. <laughs> I mean, you can just tell he's he's got fire, he's got passion, he he wants to play. He did not want to be sitting out the rest of it all that year. He's very strong defensively, I think too. I haven't seen him too much this year, but we'll see what we'll see what he does tonight. Coming off coming off a hip injury, that, that yeah. that's kind of brutal. I mean, to have to sit out all year for a hip injury, I mean that that's something else, man. Yeah, he, you can already tell he really wants to play. He's a hustler. Wangler on a fast break to Rubio. And oh, a slam dunk by Rubio! First dunk I've seen all year. Holy cow, I did not see that one coming. <laughs> we got the... We got Mitchell Rubio slam dunking him tonight. Wow. That definitely caused some momentum in tonight's game. And it tied up the game also. 41 seconds left in this first quarter, second quarter <laughs> action. I am sorry, but I am just blown away. I have not seen a slam dunk by anyone on the Davidson team in years, years, I repeat. And these Cardinals are excited. They are, man. You can tell as soon as he slam dunked that ball right in there, he immediately just looked up and he said, let's go. I mean, he's re he is ready now. <laughs> Everything that brings some fire. He sparked a little... Uh, Sparked a little flame in his inside of there. 
you can just tell, look at him. I mean, look at him go. He's just, he's everywhere. He's got a big smile on his face. He's, <laughs> he's ready to go. Colt Allerson's even got a smile on there. He said, wow, man, I, that, that is <laughs> insane. Great job. Nice job. Let's hope that that uh, can spark some, a uh, little bit of flame in tonight's game. Cardinals have a lead though, 38-37. McSuga at the line, he got his first free throw and it was good. Second free throw, no good, but it's all right, they still got the lead. 30, about 30 seconds left in the uh, second quarter action. This first half, man, I'll tell you what, Ooh. it's something different. Suga diving for the ball, we got, looks like we're gonna have a jump ball here. And it goes to Davidson. Davidson side. Fire, look at the crowd up there. Uh, the crowd's going nuts. I mean, everybody's got smiles on their face. The student section's going crazy. Uh, this is definitely a game to remember. I mean, this might be an upset in tonight's game. It might be. I don't want to jinx anything too soon, but these boys, man, I'll tell Best you. Best game of the season so definitely far. Definitely. I mean, to go through the game this year, Ooh. or the season this year, and not be too strong every, or every game, and then to come out versus uh, a, a number one team in Michigan, Class B, and prove that they can hold with them, I mean, that's, that's stating something, man. That is really stating something. And they're mostly just proving it to themselves. I mean, if they know that they can win and go out there and do good, maybe we'll see a different Cardinals basketball. Lucas Perry comes season. up with the rebound there. But yes, Wes, I do agree with you. Ten seconds left. As he low, off the hands, that is going to go on power side, it went off the hands of Hendershot there. Buzzer ticking down as he shoots the last shot. And it's oh. good for a buzzer beater. That is definitely gonna cost some momentum in tonight's game. 42-38, that's your score for the second half, or first half here. Let's see what Hannah Hall has for us to offer on the side. I think we're going to toss it back to Hannah Hall again. Half and the atmosphere is electric. Everyone's into the game, and Davison's pulling it off great. Powers had a 92 run at the beginning, but then Davison came back with a 10-point run. Everyone's doing great, and we'll see how the rest of the game ends. Now back to your announcers. Weston, I mean, uh, the game, 42-38, Powers is up. Davison's had the lead a few times tonight. What do you expect coming into the second half? It's going to be brutal. It's going to be rough and tough. It, it's going to be something. Well, I mean, so far from when the game began, both teams have been back and forth getting points, and then they'd slow down, and the next team would get the momentum and then pick up. Hopefully, I want to see the game keep going that way and just see who ends up on top. But from uh, what I'm seeing, it's going to stay a good game. Uh, it, it definitely is. I mean, and if Davidson can keep coming out proving that they're ready to play, I mean, if they come out dunking and shooting threes, if they come out aggressive, just period, then, I mean, it's gonna be a, a great second half. So, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen, and uh, we will have more for you after this short intermission.
tell that the crowd's pumped up. And I'm hoping that the players are just as enthused as they are. So we will uh, we'll see how tonight's game ends up here in this uh, long second quarter. I mean, Davidson's got to be fired up right now. They do. I have a feeling Colts Allison is pretty happy with their play right now. I mean, a few minor things that they could probably change, <laughs> but we'll see how we'll see how things turn out. 44-38. Powers comes out with the first point from the second half. Oh, not good. Powers just came up with a steal here. Turnover. Look by at that. Turnover wow. by. Wow. Turnover by Davis. There, not. Definitely have to eliminate that. Not a good way to start off this first, uh, the second half. I mean, it wouldn't hurt them to just, you know, slow down, let the play just work slow, its yeah, way exactly. out. Exactly. Slow the pace down. See, like that. When they go fast like that, that's when turnovers happen. Yeah. They just have to slow down the pace, and then they have to create something around the horn. Don't let them get ahead of themselves. Foul there by Vince Adams for Powers. Antoine will take it out for the Cardinals. Down low to Antoine. And he, oh, man, a block by Adam. Block by <laughs> uh, Hawkins there. I mean, what a swat they had there. And the Cardinals are slowly starting to pull away from this game. Ten point. Ten points away. <laughs> 48 to 38. Six minutes and 56 le seconds left in this game. Wesley, I mean, they're not coming out very strong. They haven't had any points this, the second half yet, and we're all already about a minute and a half, two minutes in. So if they want, if they really, really want this game as bad as they had, like they did the first half, then they really need to gain some momentum here. They really need to start capitalizing yeah. on opportunities. They need to quit. They need to keep working on it. They need to start working actually on it right now. Like you said earlier, slow down the pace, create some movement for, uh, around the horn, but also down in the paint. Yeah. Probably gonna have to feed it to Antoine. I mean, they've been feeding it to him all night, and it seems to have been working. Antoine coming up with a lot of points. I mean, couple couple points down in the uh, down in the paint. He's back down a lot of the. Uh, Defenders, so I'm just saying it's a it's a a big tactic they need to do this uh, second half. Definitely, definitely work the ball around the paint and uh, probably give it to Antoine. So man, Henry shot looks mad. He does. <laughs> but what's new? I mean, he's always got that emotion. Yeah. Fury. He's just always he's got so much passion and heart for the game of basketball. He does not like losing, and he cares a lot Ooh. about the game. This is a bad pass. And one. And one for Powers. That was a blocking, or I'm sorry, a push by uh, JC there. I mean, what determination in the shot, though. Yeah. It stayed with it. It did. Powers seem to change their defense a little bit here. I mean, they're really. They're really locking down hard on the, uh, yeah. the long passes and the fast breaks. So they're really tightening things up, and that's exactly are. what Davidson needs to do. And their passes this quarter hasn't been, haven't been so great. There you Three go. point by Mitchell. Ooh. Oh, and it bounces off the rim. Antoine will try and keep it in there. And Hawkins will slow it down for Powers as Lucas Perry. Calls off some plays and looks for some options down in his uh, offensive zone. To Hawkins, who goes up for it. Antoine with a nice rebound there. Fast breaking up to Lance, who goes to Mitchell Rubio with a quick shot. A little bit wide. Out of bounds on Powers. That'll go in the Davidson way. Alex Cataldo coming in for Powers. Cody's been having a pretty good game. He has. He's very, yeah, he has some pretty good looks. A lot of good passes tonight. Looks like Powers Ooh. is uh, hurting over here on the sideline or tired or something, but Cody Wangler misses the three. Powers looks for some uh, offense here. 
bounces off the backboard and fast breaks to Mitchell Rubio from Lance. Mitchell goes up hard. Oh, nice try by him. I'm hoping that dunk didn't give him a little bit too much um, yeah. uh, confidence there because he's been doing some uh, pretty crazy things here. Charger foul there, and the uh, coach for Towers isn't too happy about that one. Here we have Cody dribbling up court. He's looking at Rubio, who takes a shot, and a nice jump shot there by Mitchell. First two points of this uh, second half, third about, quarter. No time. Hopefully, that's where they can gain something from that one. Mitchell playing some hard defense on Lucas Perry here. Nice steal there by Rubio. He'll go down again. Nice layup. Ooh. Oh, and I'm surprised there was no foul called on that one. Offensively or defensively. That looks like it could have been a uh, charge, too. Nice save there by Adams on Powers. He passes out to Lucas Perry, and he'll get that two-point jump shot. Davison just playing, just taking some silly shots here. Yeah. I, mean, I don't understand why they're doing that. I don't understand why they don't just slow the pace down a little bit. And, and take the shot when they have the opportunity and when it's fully capable of making it. Looks like they're getting almost a little desperate. I mean, like I said, when, when, a, diff when a team starts to pull away with the lead a little bit, you can really tell that they, they, they slow down the pace a little bit and they really, they don't come out with as much fire when, they, when they're down more. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that some of the players on the Davidson side will step up a little bit here. Maybe get some points and, uh, Create some momentum. Ooh. Nice save by Arnold. Nice, really nice save by Arnold. Davison just really, really There's taking some, uh, three, some silly, three, silly fouls here. Second foul for Davison in uh, this third quarter action. Lucas Perry will take it in. Look you know, for it's, an option. It still seems like he's been in all games. He has. I don't think he's come out at all, actually, to tell you the truth. Nice, nice turnaround little back up there by Chicago. Nice look to Henner shot. And, and, and one by him. That was a very, very nice look there. I think that was was that Wangler who passed it. Uh, he he's got a very good vision of the other. When he passes out. that ball, I mean. He throws his arm into it. He does. He's got, he, he he's gets got it there in a hurry. He, th he puts a little oomph into the pass, and he really, <laughs> he really gets the ball down there. He, he can get it in tight, tight spaces, and he can make the long passes, too. Yeah. So. It's three. Fifty-five, forty-two. Powers. Powers will go for a three, Ooh. and it goes off the back of the rim. That'll be Powers' ball as Hunter Shot knocks it out of bounds, out of the hands of Powers. Three minutes and 54 seconds left in this third quarter. And it's looking to be a, a momentum change here uh, by, by Powers. Powers has definitely come out on top of this quarter. It's a shame to see it, but it ha it's happening. But Good steal by hopefully, hopefully little things like that, like little steals and little... Uh, Little two point, two point bank or bank shots like that will uh, work out to their advantage. So, what's the call on this one? 55 44, 11 point difference here in tonight's match, and Powers will call the first time out of the third quarter. We have a replay here. Powers passes it in. All right. What a great replay we had there. <laughs> a little bit of sarcasm in my voice, but hey, that's all right. Sorry about that, by the way. Cardinals managed to close the deficit a little bit. Now let's see if they can keep chipping away at it, try to get a lead back.
Power trying to set up a play here. Ooh, and a little J shot there by O'Brien. O'Brien there, he's a big boy too. <laughs> he's a very big boy. Travis trying to shake off his defender. And we have a push there Ooh. by, push there by uh, Powers. Cataldo will have that foul. And a hender shot, oh, I'm sorry. Langler will pass it in to Hunter shot. Kicks it back up to Toy. Lance looking for somewhere to go. Not a very good pass there by Lance. Antoine kind of looked a little confused there. And we have a travel by Hawkins. Let's see if Davison can create something here. 57-44, Powers lead here. DJ Adams is in the game. He goes up Ooh. for, oh, almost in there, but no good. And a <laughs> nice big shot by Brandon Hendershot. I think the last three baskets have been made by him in that spot. Hendershot's <laughs> going up hard tonight. He is definitely getting some nice shots, and, uh, and they're definitely going and falling for him. Not the best of passes I've seen there. O'Brien looked a little confused on that one. Mm. Oh, he gets it back. Adams has really got to capitalize on those right there. I mean, he's got a he's got an open lane to the hole and, and just a little bit wide. But he that's the second time he's done it that that quarter. Yeah. Within a matter of a few minutes, so he really needs to capitalize on those fast breaks and really need to capitalize on those open lane shots or layups. I mean, any point that Davidson can get, they should. It doesn't have to look pretty. I mean, you, you can tell that when some people on the team go up, they do the little, the little finger roll or something yeah. like that. And uh, it's not, it's doesn't need to be pretty, you know. It's just, yeah. it just make it go in. Cody giving some good hustle out there as he defends. And Hawkins goes up right off the rim, and Antoine comes up with a strong rebound. Cody coming down fast for Toy, who shoots the two. Oh, and it's a little bit long off the rim. Jacob trying to hustle for that one. Almost dribbling the ball for him. <laughs> Hawkins and Perry haven't come out at all this game, and they're, they're probably a little bit tired, but that doesn't seem to phase them at all, because if you just see right there, <laughs> Lucas Perry, it doesn't matter what how long he's played, he's still going to make the ball. Or make the shot, excuse me. Toy turned around to have a defender shaking in his face there. Jacobs will try to go up strong with it. And he passes to Hendershot. Antoine will go up strong. Ooh, just a little bit. A little bit power, power. Davis looking for a foul on that one. Powers looking for somewhere to go. Hawkins is really good at that little step there. There's a foul on number two, Jacob. Jacob's got a foul there on that one. Hawkins will shoot two at the line. This first one's good. And Polish comes up 60 points on tonight's third quarter. 14 point lead they have over the Davidson Cardinals. I've seen Davidson come back from big leads like this before and I, I think they can do it again. They just need to find that flame within them. They need to find that spark and they need to definitely light it, you know? They yeah. need to get going somehow. Put a little pep in their step. I think what they need is a few threes. A couple yeah. threes will maybe get them some momentum and get them some, a little bit of a, a bigger lead. Antoine comes up with the rebound. Nice there little fake go. out there. Really smart play by those post players down low. I mean, when when you know someone's coming over your back and they're gonna try and swat you, great thing to do in that in that uh, time is just to wait. You know. Yeah. Nice rebound there by Grant McNally. 
Long pass by JC and it's knocked out of bounds by Powers. I'm sorry, not Grant McNally, Grant Smith. And you know, this third quarter, it's not really that Davidson's playing that bad. They're still playing all right. It's more that Powers is playing really good. It is. Nice pass there by, oh, a little bit short there. Finger roll there by Lucas Perry. It was a nice fast break off of JC's uh, short shot there. Toy comes up with the ball and a shot. And oh. good with the bank shot to Buzzer Peter. Hopefully that'll give him some <laughs> momentum there. I mean, if that doesn't give him some momentum, then I don't know what will. Going into this fourth quarter, we have a score of 63 to 51. And I wish we could have a replay on that one. I think we, I wish we could too, because that was just a great buzzard beater here. So, what do you say we toss it over to Hannah for the sideline report? It's in the third quarter, and after a spirited first half, Davison let Powers come through with a 10-point lead. That's exactly what we did not want them to do, but all they have to do is work hard and put a lot of effort into the second, to the last eight minutes, and hopefully it'll turn out good. Now back to your announcers. All right, we got cards 51, power 63 going into the fourth quarter. They're going to have to do something here. I, I agree. Uh, they really need to, they really, I mean, the one thing I've noticed in this in that third quarter, I thought for sure that they were going to come out as strong as possible, and I thought that they were going to come out just on fire. I, th I mean, from first and second quarter going into the third, I mean, it was just a completely different game. It yeah. wasn't like the Cardinals. I mean, this third quarter action, it is also almost irrelevant, or I'm sorry, relevant to what they have been playing like all year. Yeah, I mean, first and second quarter action, man, I'll tell you what, that was a team that I have never seen before. It was. And I, I, I want to see that team again more than anything right now. I want to see a lot more of it. I want, I want Davidson to get back into this game because I, I like these close games. It gives me something to look forward to. You know, and they really need to uh, capitalize on their strong passes, their long passes, fast breaks, and definitely, definitely need to stay away from the, uh, the passes to right to the powers players. They need, to, they need to open their eyes a little bit, take a quick look around, slow the pace down, and they need to find a rhythm. Yeah. I mean, definitely get the momentum swinging their way. It was those consecutive amount of big plays, you know. Yeah, I agree. Because coming into this game, Powers is a real good team. That's your shot's not too often. You see him shooting threes, yeah. and that pretty much shows why, but I don't mean to be dissing on my boy there. I'm just saying he's definitely a post player, and he's good down there. Oh, yeah. Smart smart play, though. I mean, if you're open, go for the three, you know. It's just not something you see every day. It's like Shaquille O'Neal taking a three-point mm -hmm. shot. <laughs> That'll be Powers' ball. Powers looks around for somewhere to go. I think what Powers is going to try and do this quarter is uh, maybe try and wear off a little bit of the clock. Seeing as how they have a, a little bit of a lead here and with the score of 63 to 51, they're not going to want to just, I mean, they're probably, yes, I agree, they're going to want to keep pounding down on the score, but it's not going to be their number one objective. Their number one objective it's is to play defense. Yeah. Exactly. And they don't want to give up defense, or they don't want to give up any shots to uh, Davison. They're going to want to play tight defense on them, keep trying to get turnovers and steals. And, and Davison's really got to watch these, you know, giving them the free throws. Yeah, we've said it all night, and you can, I mean, it's, we've been completely right. I mean, they've, they've had dumb fouls sometimes, and uh, when they're at the line, Powers just capitalized on them all night. Get the foul, Grant Smith. And that's Grant Smith, the freshman. The only freshman Davidson has on their team. Powers now to a 13 point lead. I believe Grant Smith is a freshman this year. Yes, he is. It's always something special when you're a freshman getting, getting, getting to play in these big games like that. Yeah. I'm sure he came in with a few butterflies this game. <laughs> I mean, it's not every day that a freshman gets to play in a big rivalry game. 
Speaking of rivalry games, tomorrow, the Davidson hockey team also plays Powers, and that is going to be one of the biggest oh, yeah. rivalry games, I think, uh, throughout the community. So Powers and Cardinals hockey has always been a That's at rivalry. Iceland tomorrow, 3 p.m. You want to come out and check that crazy action. It's going to be an intense game. That would be Davison's ball. Hawkins looking a little confused on that one. I think most of the court oh, was. I'm sorry, number <laughs> That's bracket. Shot will be shooting. Uh, free throw here. Let's see what he can do. Ooh. A little bit wide there. And it looks like Grant Smith will be shooting one here. Shot there by Grant. Well, that puts the Cardinals 10 points away from tying this game back up. Well, they have been 10 points down, uh, and I'm sure they can come back again. Ooh. Nice two. That's nine shots now. Okay, well, I mean, nine points. So. Well, let's see what these Cardinals can do. Uh, they're starting to creep back in a little bit like we wanted them to do all night, Weston. So. Let's hope they can keep going back up there. They really need to play strong defense before they do anything, yeah. though. Strong defense and smart passes is the key to winning this game tonight. Oh, yeah, and exactly what we don't want. Passing factor. Play some defense, though. Nice Ooh. swat there by Hendershot. He's, He's not too happy with that call. It looked like a clean, it looked like yeah. all ball to me. I mean, I don't think. I think that the refs here need to just uh, let them play some ball, you know? Yeah. It's a, part of the, it's a part of the game to have a nice pack in there. I mean, look at Ben Wallace, the kid. The guy is stoning everybody. I mean, yeah. they don't call too many on him. I mean, just let him play basketball, have fun. That would have gave him some momentum, too, is blocking Patrick Lucas Perry. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. Especially for Henry shot. Back with an 11 point uh, Ooh. lead there by Powers. Jason's got to hustle back. Yeah, they're all coasting back a little yeah. bit. I don't know why. I mean, if I was Coach Alderson, I'd be kind of mad about that. I mean, really hustle back. I mean, if you really want this game, you got to fight for it. You got to fight through the, no matter how tired you are, you got to fight for it, you know? And that'll go in Davidson's hey, way. Knocked out of bounds. Long pass by Rubio, who goes down low to Hendershot. Oh, can't get Almost it. got up to get up there, but Lance Arnold not too happy with that one right there. He went up there and Ooh. got hit in the face a little bit. Oh. Lucas Perry definitely should have got that one there. Nice, get in there. Oh, and a <laughs> nice <laughs> rebound there by Lance the second time. Or was that Hendershot? Did Hendershot get that one? I, I don't think it was Lance. Yep, Lance Arnold. Cards brought it back down to nine, you know? They're still yeah. in it. Powers, Powers, man, they'll be, they'll, they'll take some uh, timeouts here because I'm sure their uh, coach is kind of not happy with the way they're playing right now. Wants Davidson. Like you said, they got a nine. They got a nine-point lead right now, coming back from a, a ten. But here's a replay. Of Lance's uh, rebound. Look at that. Yeah, he gets it again. Gets a nice rebound there. It doesn't go in, but he always follows up with his rebounds, and it, it proved off right there. Got to, took the boys into a nine-point uh, disadvantage, though. So nine points down. Uh, let's see what they can do. Five and a half minutes left. So what do you think Powers coach is saying to these boys right now? You know, just trying to make sure that 
keep their defense up, keep Davison scoring as least amount as possible. And I mean, they want to keep scoring, but as this clock keeps ticking down, they're going to want to try to hold the ball as long as they can. Yeah. From play to play, be really smart. Don't give any easy turnovers or anything like that. As we can see, we got Max Uga back in the game. Let's see if he has as much uh, intensity as he had last time he was in. A couple of new players in for uh, Powers also. We got number 45, O'Brien. And also, I just came across this on my stats. O'Brien, he has gotten football scholarships to Michigan, the University of Michigan, and also the University of Tennessee. Oh, wow. So, I mean, I... I'm I guessing line, <laughs> I don't see him really being a, a running back or quarterback, so Ooh. yeah, I'm, I'm guessing lineman somehow. He's a big boy. There's that uh, intensity from Matsuga. Kind of jumping right onto Hawkins. I'll tell you what, he's not the biggest guy out of the bunch, but he he he's a scrappy little guy. Yeah, he is, man. He's got some he's got some fight in him. Got some spunk. And powers that go to the line. Hawkins has 14 points tonight. Or I'm sorry, 21. I'm reading the wrong side there. And Lucas Perry Ooh. has got 29 points. And a three point by Smith. A little bit wide off the rim. Looking up, looking up at the, on powers. looking up at those uh, points up there. I mean, Lucas Perry's got 29 points. Yeah, 29 points, and Hawkins has got 21. It seems, I don't know, it's just me, but it seems like if you're letting a player get 29 and 21 points, it seems like you'd be doing something about that. Yeah, definitely playing double team on that one. Or I mean, here he goes again, just down, down the court, two easy points. He's got 31 points tonight, 31 points. Davison's got to find a way to stop that guy, and, and also Hawkins. There, here, here, here he goes, goes again. again. Well, this one's bracket, but, and a dunk <laughs> by Powers. Powers pretty happy with that one. Looks like Powers is actually having fun out there. I mean, yeah. Davison's really like, fighting for this one, but Powers is just kind of just going through the motions, having fun, but also doing it with some. Wow. Oh, everyone, get it in there. What a shot. The definite foul there. I mean, he just kind of pushed him. Man, that was a shot. It was. There's that lineman move. <laughs> and that's why he's going to play football. Exactly. <laughs> two very good schools also. Yeah. Man, wish we could see a replay of that. He had an and one on that one, but he couldn't capitalize on his free throw shot. Lucas Perry for two, and it's good. good. And that's 33 points on tonight's game. <laughs> Davidson has really got to cover him. I mean, he's got almost half the team's points. He really does. Give it up. Give it up. Coach for Powers yelling, give up the ball to uh, someone. So. And we have a travel by Hawkins there on Powers. Seventy-five, fifty-nine, and All we right, have a replay see. here. We have a nice dunk here. Ooh. That is by Bracket, and you can just tell by the little chest bump there that Powers is pretty happy with that one there. It's two dunks in today's game. Jacobs looking down low to Toy with a left hand, a little bank Ooh. pass there. Nice shot by Toy. 75, 61. Davidson's not giving up. They aren't giving up, but they need to find a little bit of something here. Because they have three minutes left, about, about three minutes left in this game. And if they want to come back, then they got to find something. Power just looks really like they're having fun now, but that might be a good thing. <laughs> nice pass there by Brackett. And he's just racking up those points. Yeah. 
Powers is very, very happy with their play right now. And we have a replay. Look at this little pass there by Brackett. Even on the ground, he's having a nice pass. And that bucket bringing in Lucas's, Lucas Perry's points up to 35. 35 points. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it one more time. Davison has to do something about him. They have got to stop him. Because if they, uh, Wesson, look at it this way. If they, if they eliminate him scoring all these points, then what happens? They don't get any more points. Because the guy's, the guy's got all the team's points. Yeah. So if they eliminate a few of his points, or even all of his points, then I'm telling you what, Davis is coming back in this game because yeah. they, might, they might have a, because without this, without this team, I mean, might have a chance to do that because it looks like he's uh, finally going to take a break on the bench. Lucas Perry is out of the game for, for the, the first, first time, time <laughs> in the fourth quarter with three minutes left. Looks like they have a lot of uh, powers, backup star players in there right now. And one, and one for Hendershot there. I believe it is uh, all of Power's backup players. <laughs> See what these guys can do out here. Hopefully, uh, Davidson can capitalize on this and use. Uh, use some momentum here. They could really use it right now. J JC carrying it up to the uh, Mitchell Rubio here. Mitchell tries to shake him off and goes for the long pass to Jacobs. JC will go for the three. Oh, oh and it bounces out of the rim, but Toy gets the rebound and goes up strong. JC comes up with that one. And passes it off to Rubio who shoots the three. And it's, it's a good, good. Rubio, nine points. They really got to play some strong defense here. Oh, and a foul there on JC. So that just lifts pretty hard there. Yeah. Powers will shoot too. Powers still with a 13 point lead. Two minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Sullivan will go up for his second shot. And it's no good. Ooh. Offensive rebound. Adams for, for two. For three. Or or for three. One, two. one of the two. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jacobs the hustle down court. Passes to Adams. Who will go to Toy. Toy with a nice pass down low. And a charge by Jacobs. Nice little. Oh, that's, that's a nice play by Powers defense there. They draw the charge and the offensive foul. And we have a looks like we have a block here. Powers will shoot too. And it's good. The game seems to be losing a little bit of its uh, uh, momentum here because uh, Powers is slowly starting to pull away from this game again. But that's not to say that they can't come back. Ooh. Adams. Shoots a pretty short three there. It's going to stay Powers' ball with a jump ball. 81 67. 
I'm hoping that the Cardinal defense doesn't give up, though. I mean, even though they're down quite a few points, uh, you never want to give up, and you want to keep fighting and make it at least look like they put forth a good fight, Yeah. which they definitely have in tonight's game. It was quite the, f quite the first, second, and third quarter, or first and second, I should say. Third quarter was eh, iffy, iffy. It was, it was a decent game. And then this fourth quarter, it, I started to feel some sense of uh, comeback there, but then, again, Powers just... Kept giving it to Lucas Bears. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. 35 points later, we have an 81-67 game. <laughs> and the clock ticking down. 50 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Powers will try to slow down the pace here. And they're going to try and move the ball around and see what they can create in the last final seconds of this game. Sullivan will take two shots here. First shot was good, 82-67. See what he can do in a second. And it's good. Jacob Seidel is in the game now. And Adams for three, but it's no good. Not too happy with that shot. Ooh. Seidel comes up with a great rebound, though. And the clock is slowly ticking down, and Powers is trying to maneuver around these defense. These Davison, uh, Davison offenders. Adams is not too happy with his play right now. I mean, a yeah. couple missed layups tonight, a couple uh, missed three points. You can just tell that uh, he's not happy right now, but he's a very good player. Right? And, uh, I, I expected more out of him today. Yeah. Alderson not happy right now. I can tell he's, he's getting pretty into his uh, conversation with the boys. Crowd's slowly starting to uh, fade away here as people are leaving. And 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter here, so game's ticking down, and we'll see what happens. Powers ball here. Quite the commotion and bounding it. 15 seconds left. Oh. Tyler Matsuga is just not giving up. And the clock slowly ticks down with five seconds left. And ladies and gentlemen, that is your ball game. Powers, 83 points and Cardinals. It was quite the game we had here tonight, Weston. I mean, uh, first and second quarter was just absolutely phenomenal. Third quarter, like I said earlier, eh, it was iffy, iffy. And then fourth quarter, we saw hope, but Cards just couldn't pull through with the victory tonight. It was a very, very good game tonight, though. Kudos yeah. to both teams. Very, very hard effort. Lucas Perry with 35 points on tonight's game, and uh, Hawkins with... Uh, 21. I mean, those two, they, they're just on an unstoppable force tonight, I guess. So Yeah, it was definitely a good game, and I, I enjoyed watching it. I did, too. Well, everybody, from Davidson High School, I'm Aaron Snyder. And I'm Weston Cowan. We will be seeing you soon again with our next home game, I believe, next week. Everybody have a great evening, and enjoy your long weekend here on Martin Luther King Weekend.